guys, Brandon. It is September 2nd, 2014. I'm getting ready to go out for a ride. It's an hour, 20 minute ride today. Um, nothing too hard. Keeping it, the assignment is to keep it in the big chain ring and kind of go on a rolling course. Uh, nothing too super challenging, but you know, just kind of building up strength by riding whatever terrain in the big chain ring. And if you've ever ridden out here in uh, Boulder, Colorado, then you know that big chain ring can often be a little bit challenging. I will be on the time trial rig, the uh, triathlon bike today, as I will be probably for out, throughout the rest of my uh, training and rest of the video series because that's the bike I'm riding in the race and your body needs time to adapt to that geometry. As you can see, if we look at it, my uh, saddle is actually higher by quite a bit, by actually three or four inches than the cockpit here. Um, let's see if you can see it a little bit better this way. You can see it a little bit better that way. So you can see how aggressive that position is. And anytime you have an aggressive position like that, whether it be on a road or a TT bike, it takes some getting used to. So again, nothing super special today. Going out, keeping it nice and steady. Uh, big chain ring, hour, 20 minutes. Here we go. Done with the ride, guys. Um, <clears throat> it's supposed to be an hour 20, came an hour and 15, but that happens, you know. You don't time things right. Um, and I'm gonna haul some ass to go pick up the baby girl. So, talk to you in the car. All right, guys, so I'm in the car. I got the baby girl in the back. Wave, baby girl. Say, how you doing? How are you doing? Anyway, good ride, and that is a challenging ride. I would encourage all of you guys to do it if you're looking for a strength training ride that's not necessarily just your average easy ride or like a sprint workout ride. Get out, get out and do a ride where you do a normal ride. Get out and do a normal ride that you normally do normal route, but keep it all in the big ring. Let's see if you can do that. It's a great strength workout. Anywho, that's today's workout, and I will see you guys tomorrow for a run. Hey guys, it is September 3rd, 2014. I am on the way to the pool. So, I had a little scheduling mix up, it seems, yesterday. Uh, yesterday was supposed to have been that bicycle ride followed by a run, a, fart, a one hour. 10 minute fart like run and I did not do that just because I did not see it on my schedule that is totally my fault uh, so what I will be doing is today I'm on the way to the pool right now uh, which is my workout for today uh, I'm going to swim and then I have a thing this evening and when I get back from that thing I will be going for a one hour 10 minute fart like run as assigned yesterday so way to go me um, Anyway, I'm just curious, you guys, um, how do you track your workouts? If you have a schedule uh, or if you just kind of do things at random, what service do you use to track your schedule? And after the fact, do you use something like Training Peaks to record and kind of log your things? Or do you do like I do? Uh, I use Strava all the time now. Um, it's not just because they're a part of this. I've been using Strava and uh, I'm just curious. So let me know in the comment section below and I'll talk to you after the pool. What's up guys? It's still Brandon, still the same day. Just got out of the pool, smell like chlorine, it's good times. I am on my way to the house for a few minutes before my thing this evening and before my run. The swim was pretty good. Uh, toward the end of it, my rib got quite sore. Um, I did 3,000 yards in the pool today. Um, I, yeah, it just feels like sore though. It's not as like painful as it has been. So that's good, it's getting better baby steps, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, so I got my thing now, I'm gonna go do that, and then I will see you guys for my run, which is a makeup run, this evening. I'll talk to you soon, later on. Hey there guys, it's Brandon. It is still the 3rd of September, and I'm getting ready to go for a run here in just a few minutes. It's about 8.30 at night. Um, my meeting ended about eight o'clock, so um, I took ibuprofen right about then. Um, and so I'll be running at about nine o'clock. So it's all about that timing with this thing. Um, again, I don't like to be taking the ibuprofen to deal with uh, the injury with the rib, but I don't really have a choice because my runs would simply not be happening uh, were it not for that. So anyway, uh, the run is an hour and 10 minute fart like run. And this is a makeup from yesterday. I just totally bonked on the workout, or not bonked, but blanked on the workout. Um, gonna be pretty fun. I like doing fart like workouts. I'm gonna take some music with me, um, which is not typically my mo for runs. But I'm gonna take some music with me, listen to a podcast, uh, see what I see what I can see, and uh, yeah, 
it's gonna be good. So I will see you guys shortly. I am back from my run. It was good. Felt very nice. Um, not the fastest thing in the world with those pickups, but felt good. Now I'm just hanging out, winding down. It takes me a minute to wind down before I'll be ready for bed, even though it's you know past 10 o'clock. Um, and watching a little bit of the Vuelta a España, hanging with my dogs. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. What's up, guys? It is Brandon. It's Thursday, September 4th, 2014. I can't believe it's September. Um, and I'm getting ready to head out for a bike ride. Um, I'm heading over to Pearl Azumi headquarters today to take a look around and see what they're all about and kind of get a tour. Um, but before that, I got to get this ride in. It's an hour and 20 minutes, just kind of easy recovery ride. And uh, yeah, there's also a run on the schedule for today. An another, it's an hour uh, recovery run, kind of easy run. So anyway, guys, I will see you on the ride. I'm just back in for my ride. Getting these uh, shoes off, get ready to head to Pearl headquarters here in a minute. Uh, that ride felt pretty good. Um, it was weird. I think my legs are still a little tired from, uh, I guess it was two days ago now. And um, just a little tired. No big deal. Um, all in all, a good ride. That's it. Uh, I have a run tonight. And so I will talk to you guys before that one and I'll be filming at Pearl Jimmy headquarters. See you guys. Hey guys, it's Brandon. It is September 5th and it is Friday, baby, baby. So I'm on my way to the pool, get my swim on. Sorry, I totally blanked on filming my run yesterday evening. Um, just didn't do it. Sorry, um, it went well. I've seemed to have managed to nail down the um, ibuprofen taking. So that is very good. It makes me a very happy boy. Um, and let's see, I didn't take any for this swim just because I wanted to see where the rib is uh, without it. Uh, because I would prefer, honestly, race day to not take any ibuprofen in the morning at all before the race and just reserve it uh, just so my body doesn't... I, I don't I don't like using that stuff. So anyway, I just prefer to wait until the run when I will probably need it. Um, anyway, so I didn't take any of that. So I'm heading to the pool um, and then I will be done with workouts for the week and I'll put this episode of this video thing that you're watching right now up. Uh, my workout this weekend that is starting tomorrow. Uh, typically my long ride days are Saturday, my long run days are Sunday, but I think I'm gonna have to flip it uh, for time's sake. And so my run will be tomorrow probably and then my ride on Sunday. Um, Cause I have like a six hour ride, so. Hey guys, Brandon, I am done with the swim. Obviously there's my little girl in the back there. I had to bust really quickly from the pool to go pick up my girl. Um, anyway, now we're driving home and it was a good swim. The rib felt excellent. In fact, I didn't even notice anything until about a half an hour in. Um, and then it just got a little bit sore and tight, but it wasn't painful um, in the pain, pain sense of the word. So great swim. There you go. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining along. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Uh, right over here to my right, your left, are all the social icons. Drop it, Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Nope, that's not there. YouTube and Facebook. Definitely follow me on those things and say hi. Also, if you've got any questions about the upcoming race, leave them in the comments section below. This coming week on Monday and then again on Friday, we'll be taking really close looks at the run and bike courses. Um, and I'm trying hard to get um, some race directors uh, or of course course kind of captains uh, in to talk about those. So thank you guys so much for joining me and we'll see you next time.